Hello, my DGX friends. Hope you're doing well. We're going to take a look at a feature of the keyboard today that I've covered already on this channel, and it's the EQ feature. But I'm going to show you how to EQ piano and some other uh, effects and also put some uh, reverb on. So let's turn it on and straight away it goes to the CFX Grand, as you can see. Now the CFX Grand isn't bad on its own, but a little bit of my secret sauce is to add some a little bit of EQ, a little bit of reverb. So over here you can see the screen and you can see from above that I'm going to hit Mixer EQ. So nothing, hit Mixer EQ and then you can begin making tweaks. Right over here we have the volume and pan and if you just toggle over to main, which is where we are, right? We're in main. If you toggle over there, you can go to the pan pot, and if you've got headphones on, listen to where the sound is moving. I'm going to move it from middle to right. Hear that? Now it's on the right. Now I'm going to move it to the left. Well, I should say, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's on the left. Now I'm going to move it to the right. Hear that? Okay, so that's the pan part functionality to pan as you will. Now, one of the tricks I use is to layer the pianos. To layer the pianos, you got to hit layer and you got to select a piano of your choice, right? So I'm going to select bright piano. Let's deselect main. So just bright piano on its own. Let's do ambient piano. It's got that delay to it. So that's an option. You could have main and layer together. You hear that? But what I'm going to do is go back to Mixer EQ and I'm going to pan each piano slightly. So the main, I'm going to pan that a little bit to the left. The layer, pan it a little bit to the right. Now see if you can hear any difference. Hear that? Now it might not be as apparent yet. But let me do right 41 and left 41. It's there if you listen carefully. So that's using the pan, right? Let's go to the next tab. Over here we have filter and I could choose to reduce the brightness of the main. It's quite bright, so make a bit dull. I like my pianos a bit on the darker side. And as for layer, uh, it's down a little bit, but I'm making it even less bright. Now we'll tab over to effects and again use the lower buttons to go to main so just hit four go to main and let's crank up the hall because right now there's not a whole lot of it now i'm going to turn off layer just so that i hear the impact of what i'm doing so i'm turning it up Okay, it's kind of sound like what I want. Now let me 
deselect main and bring in just layer. It's going to be on the right. I like that. It's as though I'm hearing the felt and the hammer action there. It's so soft. See? Isn't that cool? So, that's kind of sounding good. Let me bring in the main. Oh, not bad. I might have gone a little bit over the top with the reverb. So let's bring it down a bit. Okay. We have some other effects here. Uh, we have hall, and then we have a delay here for the layer. You can hear that's now more pronounced. That's over the top, so I think it's okay down here. I may want it just a little bit brighter. So over here in the EQ, I could, in main, tweak up the highs for the main and for the layer. So not bad altogether. Let's go to Master EQ. Now, be careful because what you do here is going to impact everything that you're doing on the keyboard, including the style. So, you might not want to alter this too much. I would say if you're playing a solo, just solo piano, I'd rather do the EQs from just EQ. I would leave Master EQ alone uh, because when you bring in drums and th other things, it changes, right? So, this is fine. I'm just going to exit. And I like what I did, so I will save it. And let's take it for a test. Test spin. All right, here we go.
hope you enjoyed that. Play around with your EQ and your effects. I hope that answered the question, Robert. Bye for now.